In his four and a half hour ruling, Justice N.S. Osudapa indicated that the PS, Namwan, and Brew Marketing Consult did not possess a valid license to engage in the sale and purchase of gold. Referencing the charge of operating a deposit taking business without a license, the court noted that Brew Marketing Consult is unknown as an entity authorized to sell gold to the public. The court ruled that Nanapia Mensa and Brew Marketing Consult must answer the charge of selling gold contrary to Section 991 of the Minerals and Mining Act. The court also held that the Bank of Ghana did not endorse the deposit taking business of Namwan and Men's Gold. Again, the court posited that the use of celebrities such as Stoneboy, Becca, Joseline Dumas, and Jackie Appiah to promote the activities of the gold dealership firm on billboards influenced the public to invest in Men's Gold and Brew Marketing Consult Limited. Nanapia Mensa and his two companies were thus ordered by the court to answer 19 counts of defrauding by false pretenses and acquitted him on the remaining counts after the prosecution abandoned three counts due to the unavailability of the victims. Namwan expressed dissatisfaction as the ruling. This is just a prima facie, which is like looking at it on a face value. So, well, it could be a mirage. And this is just one you know, person sitting down looking at it. So, yeah, once we disagree, the law permits that we can always take it to, I mean, an appellate court or, or, or the, I mean, the legal remedies under, you know, a legal dispensation can be exercised. And so we would go back to the drawing table, you know, in an affirm to defend ourselves and then to um, affirm and then proclaim, get a court to proclaim our innocence to, to the whole world. Spokesperson for the Attorney General, Wilberforce Mesa, spoke to the media. To the stage of submission of no case and the accused persons have been asked to open their defense. So this is victory for the prosecution. It's a, it's, it's a, st it's a step towards uh, justice delivery in, in this particular matter. And I'm glad and I believe uh, gentlemen who are indeed at this stage can properly be called victims. I believe they're all satisfied and very elated and happy by the ruling given by the Honorable Judge. Fred Forson, who represents a good men's good customers, cautioned the former men's good boss. Now one feels that he has some rights, liberty to hold on to our money. That is the most annoying aspect of this whole thing. Over 225 people have died. And he's still, think, he's still doing business. He's still in business. He hid some of the properties from the eye of the public. So he, time is running out for him. He should be hurry. He should be in a hurry to deposit the rest of the money. Nanapia Mensah, also known as Namwan, will be back in court on July 23, which is a Tuesday, to either open his defense. But he has indicated that he's going to appeal the decision of the court because he's not happy with it. Lord Dwasari, TV3 News, Accra High Court.